Hey dollies, I hope you are having a wonderful day. So finally, I know, I am finally reviewing this wonderful, fantastic gothic doll. So this is going to be on a review on Pull Up Mail. She is a collaboration piece with Japanese clothing brand Rouge Lean. Um, I will definitely, definitely link their website down below um, so you could see their clothing um, store. And let me tell you, it's freaking really cool. Like high end, but really nice. Okay. So as always, you all, I'm going to give you my honest opinion regarding this release. And I hope you find my review helpful. So let us get started. So as you could see, I did this on purpose. Don't follow me now, girl. Um, I did leave her hair net or her wig net there for a reason because I wanted to show you something before I take this off. So, but before we do that, let's talk about her wig color as you could see and then um, talk about what I see with quality and her hair accessory and all of that jazz. So, as you could see, the camera is showing the color of the wig pretty accurate. Her wig color is white. It's There's no... Um, other colors within the, the wig um, itself there's it's just pure white and with a bunch of loose curls which I'll take this off in a moment I promise um, quality wise from what I see at least with the one that I got there's a lot of um, wig cap showing on the top here the good news and she does have this hair accessory you don't see it it is a little bit of a bummer though given the price point however um as i've always told you all don't let these things discourage you because sometimes unfortunately when it comes to like the wig quality there's really no consistency with quality so sometimes you might get a better one than the one that i have or you may be unlucky and get a worse one but the good news is is that is that if you do get some sort of like wig that shows the wig cap to the top is okay if you keep this on um her hair accessory so let's talk about this hair accessory as you could see this hair accessory is very very beautiful it's laid out of, it's made out of lightweight lace this thing is not heavy at all which i was kind of surprised given that we do have the bunny ears to the top um very very nicely made to the sides here we do have the detailing of the stars or i should say one star made out of like this hard plastic material that's stitched on here with a nice black bow you could see the bow there the light is working with me today. I'm happy. <laughs> and then we have that on both sides. Okay. Very, very nice. And there's really no like, I'm trying to see, are there any prints or flowers or anything like a pattern consistently on the lace here? It kind of looks like flowers if you look closely. Hold on. Let me see if I could move this. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but yeah, very pretty nonetheless. Um, I don't have any concerns with quality as of now with, with how I've been, I've been seeing this. Her bunny ears are really freaking cute. As you could see, they actually stay up. I am pretty impressed because there is no wire. There is nothing here. It's not heavy to make it stand up. I think they just really did a great job in the, the stitching here to the bottom. The ears don't flap. I'm very happy to see that, that it translates the same way that we saw in the promo shots. It translates very well in real life. And the ears themselves are made out of this very soft plush-like velvet material. Very good quality. There's no fallout with this. There's no fur or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that. Very good quality. The only little thing I will say about constructive feedback with this hair accessory is the way that you get it on. As you can see, it's literally, you tie it. This, hold on, what's getting what's getting stuck? The net is getting stuck on the bottom part of her, her stock here. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so... You could see it is um you have to tie it the reason why i haven't taken out this net is because i wanted to give you guys um some feedback like i said this comes off separately so you have to put this on the moment you unbox her i would tell you do not take this off until you tie the hair accessory because you will manage to get some wig 
stuck underneath here and then you're going to tie it with the bow itself i kind of got a little bit as you could see because it's kind of in the way but to minimize just to you know save you a heartache just try to keep it on the net until you're ready and know that you have it on exactly how you want it to now that i think i'm okay with it with how it looks i'm gonna take it off and we're both gonna look at the quality of this wig together because i have not done that because like i said i wanted to save this for actual filming and i'm just going to as you can see it's kind of like spread apart just gently play with it a little bit so you could kind of get more volume and then get it even just be very gentle. Let me see if I'm doing this good. I think it's pretty decent. I'm like look, looking using the camera as my mirror. Uh, yeah. You could already see that there's frizz going on here. And it's a lot of it. Um, unfortunately, I'll be real with you all. This is something that we see a lot with loose curls on wigs we can't really do anything about it i think the real thing we could do here and then and this is all honesty just don't mess with this the more you avoid messing with her wig moving it on a lot you're going to prevent um more i'll say frizz to the front you really can't see it i know some folks may want to probably retie this here to kind of have some strands here to the front I would tell you it's kind of risky, a risky move. But, of course, if you're a collector and you just want to display her, I don't think it... Just be very gentle and be very patient. I would just try to put it like this to the front to kind of minimize frizzing up her wig as much as you can. As you can see, it's pretty noticeable. Even on camera, like, it's very noticeable. So I'm just going to put it like this for a moment. So... Very pretty. The wig quality is pretty, like I said, pretty satisfactory. It's something that we've seen a lot. Just don't mess with it. That's my advice to you. Now let's talk about this face up. So let's talk about, before we talk about the face up, let me tell you about her skin tone. The, li the, the line, why am I saying the lion? <laughs> the camera, I guess I've been watching a lot of Animal Planet lately. Sorry. <laughs> the camera is not lying. That's probably what I meant to say. It's not lying. Not lying. Anyways. The camera is not lying to you. This doll is extremely pale, almost gray tone when you see her in real life. Like, I'll be real with you all. If you are getting her and you want to rebody her to some other type of like doll bod, it's going to be difficult to match her skin complexion because this girl is like very pale, almost leaning to the gray side, pale, um, which I think is beautiful given how her theme is she's wonderful but i just wanted to let you know skin tone wise um she is on the paler side also i wanted to mention this and i want you all to pay attention when you get her if you do decide to get her i don't know if it's the quality of plastic that was used with this doll but i did notice a small slight if you could see it on camera it almost looks a little slightly different skin tone here with her hand and her arm I don't know if this is going to discolor through time. I don't know if it's the plastic they use. I know you kind of really can't see it on camera. But in real life, you could kind of see a little itty bit. So just wanted to, to tell you about that. I'll be real with you all, given that I've collected um, pull-ups now for several years. I could tell you throughout the years, it's just the plastic. It happens. We can't really prevent it. Well, actually, just keep it away from the sun if you can or from like very hot places sometimes the hands this color they kind of get a little bit yellow through time um i know there's some remedies you could try out there it takes time and patience but there are some remedies to kind of improve that look but i wanted to let you know with her hands it looks a little um interesting in real life i feel like i don't know if it's the one that i have or they're all like that there's just a little pinch difference in color and you all know how i am with details i pay attention to a lot of these things and again it has to do with what i do in real life but just wanted to point that now let's get to the good part her face up her face up omg listen when you see her like this it gives you the impression that she does not have eyebrows well guess what i have good news for you all that might be freaking out about that she does have some eyebrows hold on boom and they're just like it's like a peekaboo they're they're very high <laughs> as you can see these eyebrows sit very high on her face but they're there they're very light 
not too defined. It's like peekaboo. To be real, if you had her like this, I don't know. I think she still will look pretty. Uh, but yes, she does have eyebrows, in case you were wondering. Um, she also does have a little bit of color here on her forehead. Could you see that? I hope you could see that. Right here in the center. It's a little like a, like a pinch of pink on there too. And as you can see, her bangs are pretty short. Usually I know our bangs are a little bit longer, but for her, they're a little bit short. And I think the reason why that is, is because we want to see this wonderful detailed eye design that we have here. Just look at how beautiful this is. It almost looks like she's browless, but I think this is beautiful. I think this is the first time we've ever seen anything like this. And it is absolutely beautiful. She does have some color to her cheeks. It's like a pinch of red. It's like barely visible. And then we also have red lips with some gloss over it. Just absolutely beautiful. And then her eyes, if you look closely, they're like a silverish, silverish, grayish color. It's kind of hope this camera captures what I'm trying to show you all. Absolutely beautiful with some like design of like star i don't know if you can see that we have a star here and then we have out here just the circle but it is very very beautiful and it doesn't end there look how beautiful this is her eyelids oh my gosh look at this craziness <laughs> i love when these things happen on camera oh my gosh now i can't get her eye up wait oh here we go <laughs> sorry i don't know how the heck that happened look at these beautiful eyelids hold on let me see if i can move this look how beautiful this is we have some black ombre color there with of course the stars design on there just absolutely beautiful and i actually wanted to also show you how the sleepy eye effect looks on this release in particular because i think she could actually rock it so if you're like you know what let me try the sleepy eye look on her let's see how that looks like let me show you so you could kind of get an idea and this is how it looks like. It kind of gives her more of a, I don't know, like a mis mysterious look. Like she's looking at you like, yeah, I'm glaring at you, kind of. That's the what I get from her. Very pretty. But of course, if you want it to the default, you could. See, just comparing. I know everyone is different, but I just wanted to show this to you. So you could kind of get an idea. I think it's beautiful either way. Um, personally, I always like to see the full the full eyes because I don't want to miss any of her, her pretty eye shade color. I want to see it all, right? So, so beautiful. This face up is one of the best ones I've seen in a goth doll. No, no, no kidding. Like, absolutely beautiful. Now, let's talk about this stock. So, before I do that, I wanted to mention this from, like, from the beginning. I have no concerns with the stock. The stock itself... It's made out of this lightweight, um, I would say even cotton fabric. There's different layers here and I have no concern. The quality is superb. Um, nothing that I could tell you is falling apart. It's a very beautiful, very beautiful piece. Like it's, it's so beautiful that if I could find this in real life, like a life size, I would probably want to wear this type of dress. It's gorgeous. Um, not only just you looking at it just quality wise so let's look at it up close it's like a lot of black on black so hopefully the camera captures this well so as you could see hold on camera there we go it's your your basic traditional lolita dress with a little bit of flair that's what i would like to call it she does have her star pendant here made out of hard plastic and just look at this wonderful dress just look at this we have the different phases of the moon here to the front with this beautiful graphic here. Looks like spider webs. Absolutely beautiful. Her sleeves are this, as you can see, they're see-through transparent cotton fabric. Absolutely beautiful. And as you saw a little bit earlier, she does have a mani. They're black nails. Absolutely beautiful. And then to the back, in case you're wondering, this is the detail we have to the back. Again, very traditional Lolita style goth dress. Absolutely beautiful. We have the bowls, which is what we see a lot with Lolita dresses. 
um, to the back and of course to the front here just look at this it's hard to show you all these beautiful pieces and then underneath that she does come with this top so basically okay let me explain so basically how you know how you see the transparent the transparent um, sleeves here it is part of a top which the top itself has ruffles here it's kind of hard to see it in the, on camera it does have these ruffles here and it does have these buttons but this is a separate stock piece it's a shirt and you could see here from the bottom you see and it's held in the front by velcro mm -hmm. velcro and then to the bottom of that we have this other thick this is thick and it has tool attached to it um skirt is like a satin as you can see it's pretty shiny actually it's not satin it's uh, your actual tool um fabric it's pretty good and a little bit stiff here it's a separate piece with some tool attached as like i said to the bottom as well um this helps with the volume you know giving that stock that volume that we're looking at and then underneath that we do have um this very nice i think it's very nice um bloomers they're like it's an interesting cotton fabric it's kind of almost hard to explain it because it has like this plush feel to it um it's hard to describe it but it's very well made and then we do have the bowls here and then again if you are curious is how it looks like on the back nothing too out there just your basic bloomer so let me put down her dress so you could see this and see look at this this is there we go here we go maybe they could have used the clip to do this thing up here her a hair accessory because then you might risk it sliding off but it's okay it's not something I think you should worry about. You're not playing with them, I think. Well, most people just phot um, photograph pull-ups, right? Um, or redress them. So, let me see. Okay, is it even? Okay, I think that is even. Then, besides that, we do have these very beautiful purple socks. Um, I'll be honest with you. These socks are very beautiful, very lightweight there's no stretch to them and you see there's the print of the corset style on them as well with the two stars very nicely made on the back we don't have anything okay they're just stripes just in case you were wondering i know some folks worry about that as well and then she comes with these very unique boots let me tell you in the years that i've collected pull up this is the first time i've seen this boot design ever be used i'm gonna let you know this right now so if you plan to get her you kind of know this ahead of time and yeah i'm letting you know these do not come on her inbox these boots are one of those things i'm letting you know now if you try to put these boots on in her like, blah, 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 i can't even talk if you try to put these boots on without untying these little strings that you see here you could possibly break her feet because the hole is like literally almost like non-existent. It's like like this. It's smaller than where her foot could actually fit in. So what I did, which is what I was saying, that these boots are very interesting because I've never seen it ever uh, in, um, in pull-up history, boots be made this way. The boots themselves, if you look at it closely, they're plastic. They're like that rubber um, feel, right? But the interesting thing is, is that the tongue of the boot, which is this piece here, is actually made out of pleather. And then we have the strings. So then you, you untie the strings, you could stretch the sides of the boot, put her foot in, and then retie it. Obviously, I'm not the best person to tie things. So this is how it looks kind of messy. But that's basically how it is. I've never seen pull-up boots like this because most times it's usually just all rubber and then that's it that's basically what we get but this is the first time i see something like this and these are very cute they're very nice they're actually pretty small they fit her feet very nice um maybe in the future we could get some more boots like that very very nice so that's basically here with her stock then besides that she also comes with this very nice bunny pillow let me tell you, this bunny pillow is no joke when it comes to quality because it is magnificent quality. The print here, I mean, this is like, if we had like a, a life-size 
to this i would mean i would I, I could actually see myself even using it because the quality of this thing here let, let me tell you it's no joke it's very good it's very freaking good the print is on there really good this fabric here is durable it's kind of almost like a thick cotton like this thing is very good and then onto the back we have this very nice velvet plush material i am very impressed with this the quality of this stock overall like superb then besides that she comes with her collector card here she is in all her glory she looks freaking amazing so then that's basically it this is all that pull up mail comes with so what are my final thoughts regarding this um release i'm gonna be real 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 with you all i think from the very beginning when i first saw her i was already like impressed um just looking at her through photos i was like her stock quality look kind of decent because you know i've been collecting for years so i kind of get a feel for certain things and how they look in camera and let me tell you in person she is truly impressive stock photos are not going to do you any justice um this release is to me in my opinion one of the best ones that were released last year 2022 I mean, whatever, whoever made a decision to make this collab with this wonderful clothing brand was a genius because what they did here is a work of art, um, to say the least. She is wonderful. She is unique. If you are into goth dolls, listen, do not sit on this. Get her because she's one of those dolls I anticipate that will sell out. Will they remake it? I'm not sure, but yeah and i know there's limited quantities left right now as we are speaking on pullipsaw.com i'm not sure on the groove website so what i'm trying to tell you is do not sleep on her i have really nothing really much negative to say about her the only few little things again it's kind of like out of our control which we've talked about this before with the quick quality but that's something that we've seen a lot um with these type of wig wig styles um will that be something i would necessarily tell you do not go for it whatever it's something I could kind of even as a collector could kind of oversee given everything this everything else that I'm looking at with this wonderful um, piece of art that I'm holding here. So would I recommend her? I think yes. As you could hear with everything what I'm telling you right now, do not sleep on this doll. You could get her at pullipstyle.com. You could get her on the Groove website. I will be linking those down below so you could check them out. I hope you found this review helpful. And like I said, do not sleep on it. Do not. You will regret it. You will regret it. Shoot, if I had the cash, I might even want to snap us and get a second one because I'm telling you, absolutely beautiful. Just look at her one more time before I say goodbye to you all. Bye, me buy me <laughs> i do i know i'm sorry it's bad all right i hope you all have a wonderful day stick by by me right now if you like so you could see another review that i'm posting today have a wonderful day and i will see you all on the next one Mwah. bye